Hey guys, welcome to this Unity racing game tutorial series where we're going to be building a Unity 2D racing game from scratch. So what I've done here is I've got a completed project where we've got a car and a background and a menu. So let me just quickly show you how this game works and then we can get into building it. So the first thing is we've just got basic UI to start off with like a background and a car. This is just going to serve as our menu or our main menu and splash screen. So when we hit start, we are able to move our car around. And as you will see, there are some effects here like a infinite scrolling road background as well as some clouds which are going to provide us some haze just to give it a little bit of an extra effect and a little bit of a challenge for our player so let's uh, just stop this again and run it just to show you what else there is so we start the game and when we die we can restart the game so basically that's what we're going to be building in this tutorial series so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell now so that you can get all the updates on this tutorial series and any other dev logs I release in future. So great guys, let's get started and start building this project. So here I've got Unity Hub open and I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to select the 2D template and we're going to call our project Unity Racing Game Tutorial. Also my location, my folder is going to be Unity Racing Game Tutorial and I'm going to hit create. So this is going to take a minute or two. So I'm just going to start by showing you the assets that we're going to be using. So in my previous project, I've got this block sign, a car, a road, a pothole, clouds and a coin, which we're going to be bringing into our project. So we're not going to be using all of these, but we can use them and I will include them in the project files for you to use in your own game. So let's start off by just bringing these into our project. So head over to the assets folder, right click, create and click on folder. So I'm going to create a folder called sprites, I'm going to open that up and I'm going to import our sprites. So let's just drag these in there so we can import them right great so the first thing we need to do is need to make sure that our two backgrounds which are going to be scrolling are set up correctly so our road we're just going to start off with uh, changing our wrap mode to repeat and this is just going to allow our background to repeat when we apply our script to it later on then click apply And then on our clouds background, we want to do the same, change it from clamp to repeat and click apply. Great. So what we want to do now is just rename our scene. So go over to your scenes folder, rename it to main. So this will become our main scene, which we're going to be building our game out on. So this is where all the gameplay will live essentially and we will create another one for our main menu at a later stage but for now let's just work on our main scene so the very first thing we want to do over here is we want to just bring our game into a better aspect ratio for a mobile game which is portrait so in order to do that let's click on game over here and i've got a few presets already set up here so what we're going to do is we're just going to click on this plus over here. We're going to call this mobile portrait. And we're going to change it to an aspect ratio of 9 by 16. Hit OK. And as you can see, it's now changed our aspect ratio to the portrait to require for our game. Right, so we head back over into scene. And now what we want to do is we want to actually go and create a, a background. So in order to do that, we're going to first of all go over to our main scene. We're going to right click and we're going to create 
uh, 3D quad because what we'll do is we'll texture it with our background. So I'm just going to rename this quad to background. And I'm going to size it up to fit our viewport or our screen. Okay. So the next thing we want to do now is we want to just create a material for this so that we can uh, bring our background in. And that's going to be very simple. I'm going to head over to our sprites and we're simply going to drop our road on top of it. So as you can see, our road is now in the scene but uh, it's completely dark. We don't want it to be like this. So what we need to do is we need to bring in a light. So to, in order to do that, right click over here again and create light and let's create a directional light. So as you'll see, that's going to light up our scene completely now and we can see our road. Right, great. So the next thing we want to do is we want to set up our clouds. So same concept we're going to right click 3d object we're going to use a quad again and we're going to rename this to clouds so again we'll make this uh, relatively large actually i'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so i want it to scroll across the screen i can adjust this a little later but um, let's now bring our clouds onto this as you can see, it's got a bit of a weird effect and uh, that's because of how we are blending our clouds over to our sprite settings and we need to click on this advanced tab over here. So we need to make sure that we've got sRGB checked, alpha source input texture alpha ticked, as well as alpha is transparency. So then we just click apply and then we have to head over to our materials. So open up your materials folder, click on the clouds. And what we need to do here is change our rendering mode from opaque to fade. As you can see now, the background has basically disappeared and we only have our clouds in our scene. So the next thing we need to do now is we need to go ahead and create a way for us to actually make these scrolls. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and open up our assets folder again. We'll right click and create a new folder called scripts. And I'm going to open that up, right click, create C sharp script. And I'm just going to call this scrolling background. So open that up in Visual Studio by hitting enter. So what we're going to do in the script is we're just going to allow for a multiple directional uh, scrolling so that we can scroll our clouds on the X axis and then our road on the Y axis. So in order to do that, uh, let's just uh, start off with creating some variables. First of all, we're going to require a renderer so that we can modify the materials of our backgrounds. So I'm just going to call this uh, rend. And then what we need is we need a scroll speed. So I'm going to declare a float called scroll speed. And I'm just going to start off with 10.5 float. And then we need a boolean to basically determine which axis we are scrolling on. So I'm just going to say bull x axis. So if it is true x axis, we'll scroll on the x axis. If not, we'll scroll on the y axis. So the very first thing we need to do in the start, we need to instantiate our render object. And we're going to do that by getting the component called renderer. Then in our update function, we need to now be able to apply some scroll speed. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a float and I'm going to call it offset 
which is the amount we're going to be offsetting our background by. So I'm going to use time.time .time, and I'm going to multiply that by the scroll speed to get an offset. Then there's going to be a very simple check where we're going to just check if it is x-axis. Otherwise, if it's not, we're going to apply on the y-axis. So this is a very simple method of doing scrolling backgrounds. So you will just take your renderer, you'll take the material of that renderer, and then you'll set the texture offset of that material. So underscore main text. So this is the main texture in that material. And then we're just going to offset it with our vector 2. We're creating a new vector 2. And 0 on the x. And then we're going to put our offset on the y. Because we are scrolling on the y axis. For else, we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to now scroll on the x by applying an offset over here. So that's it for this scrolling background script. So what we need to do now is actually attach it to our backgrounds. So let's uh, minimize Visual Studio over here. Click on our background and bring that into our background inspector by dragging it in. So the background is going to not be scrolling on the x-axis, so we won't check this box. Our clouds, however, will be, so we drag that script onto here and we check the x-axis. So what we're going to do now is just run this, see if it's working. So as you can see, it's going extremely fast. So 10.5 is maybe a little bit too quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change each of these uh, to a more appropriate speed. So let's start off with the background. So let's make this on 1. And we're going to make our clouds 0 0.2 because clouds generally move quite slowly. Let's run this to see how it looks. So that looks a lot more reasonable and that already looks like uh, we've got a bit of a, a game or a scene. You could even use this as your start menu just to make it a little bit more interesting if you wanted. So guys, uh, basically that's the end of this first tutorial in this series on making a Unity racing game. So if you have liked this video, please hit like below and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.